morning, what's up? All right, good evening, what's up? It's Joe Vick, getting ready to uh, kick it off. I'm alone today. Uh, no sign on mic here to help. So they give me a hard time, but we're gonna be doing some uh, some dinner tonight. Uh, I'm gonna try to answer some questions too that I've been getting through like um, my direct messages is the message, uh, not only here, but also on Instagram. And on YouTube, because all these videos get uh, downloaded and then uh, sent to YouTube. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and get myself watching this video on my phone. What's up? Uh, Lauren, hey, Lauren, if you're upstairs, come on down. Just just uh, knock on the door, I'll let you in. It's going to be really quick tonight. Uh, it's a really simple uh, recipe tonight. But I'm also going to take uh, the camera and put it over here uh, so you can see uh, how I char broccoli. So, Oh, you're at work? All right, Lauren. We'll see what we can do, all right? See if we can keep you entertained. Uh, tonight's Little Ears pasta with uh, Italian sausage. I'm gonna char the broccoli, and then there's like a pesto sauce that goes in it too. I thought about adding a, um, a cream sauce to it, but uh, I'm gonna keep it really simple tonight. Um, also gonna answer your questions. Uh, I got one person who's asking the music in the background if you can hear it. I, always, I love the blues, I play it every time I cook. Uh, right now I got Muddy Waters playing. Um, so, hey Stephanie. So here we go. Uh, first things first is uh, breaking up the uh, the broccoli, but it looks like it's pretty broke up already. What we're going to do is we're going to actually char this uh, in a pan on the uh, on the stove top. So let me get the pan ready. Move it to like a high heat. Uh, get some uh, olive oil going. Also need to. Uh... So yeah, I'm going to end up moving on. I got a new uh, tool tonight too. So Alan. Alan, who uh, watches these, uh, recommended that I get. What's up, Mike? Melissa, back in. Uh, you're not here, so I gotta do it easily. It's an easy recipe tonight, Mike, so we're good. Uh, bought this uh, on Amazon. Uh, Alan Ward, uh, my friend up north, in the Great White North, not Canada, but uh, uh, Wisconsin area, told me I need to get one of these to help smash potatoes, but also will help break apart, uh, you know, uh, processed meat or ground up meat. So we'll work on that. Oh, there it is. Alan, I got one. It's got a red handle. So we're gonna try this tonight when we break up the, uh, the sausage. So, all right, I'm also eating for myself tonight. Nobody else is eating my food, so if I cross-contaminate, I hope you guys call me out, but I really don't care. So first things first is uh, we need to separate the sausage uh, from, the, uh, from the casings. And doing that, just that thin, I guess, <laughs> casing. Now we got really good Italian sausage, actually one of my uh, favorite meals, man. Add some crushed red pepper. You know what, that's a great idea. Trevor, I really like that, actually. I'm going to reach up as soon as I cross-contaminate all this food. I'm going to reach up and uh, get some of that red pepper out of the... I think they sent some, too. They got chili flakes in here. So I think chili flakes might be the same as what we're going to use. But I'm going to grab some, uh, some crushed or some uh, red pepper flakes. But first, this is, uh, this is kind of gross. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Hey, and uh, just going to... Uh, tell you again I've got some uh, some free HelloFresh meals uh, if you guys want them apparently the ones I gave out before and I'm not getting paid for this HelloFresh doesn't pay me anything um, I don't get free stuff from HelloFresh they just give me opportunity to uh, pimp their product out because I like it I'll show you here in a second when I pick up the camera um, because I'm a <laughs> some people wanted to see I had three people asked to see the inside of my refrigerator um, to see what kind of food I have in there since I'm always eating HelloFresh I'm gonna show you what's in there, and uh, just some weird stuff. I even had some uh, requests to see what's on the other side of the camera. Mark, what's up? Here we thought name yet for the cooking show, Chef Little Man. That's nice. Yeah, we do. But I did create a website. It's kind of funny. It's not. A, it's not an incredibly uh, great website. I just use Spark, Adobe Spark, and just put together kind of a, a quick website. Um, it's uh, middleagedmininthekitchen.com, long URL, apologize for that, I'll get that knocked down soon. So from this I'm going to go ahead and see if the water is boiling, uh, and, and in that case I'm going to go ahead, I don't know what this stuff, how you pronounce that, let me get, let me spread it out for you. Anybody want to help me with that just by writing the, the how to pronounce it? So it is boiling over there so I'm going to go ahead and get the pasta started. Yeah, so, it is kind of weird because I sit here and I talk to myself. Well, I'm actually talking to you guys. So we'll get the Little Ear Pasta. It looks like it's like uh, shells. But I guess it's called Little Ear Pasta. I have no idea how to pronounce that. 
Uh, from that, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the broccoli chart. So I'm gonna move you guys over to here so you can see what's up. Let's start uh, charring up this broccoli, be able to see my, uh, my little pad too that I, can, that I can show. Oh yeah, Trevor, you said grab the uh, red pepper flakes, right? All right, so I'm reaching up above. The water is boiling at auto alert because the incredibly hot solutions we have for dealers. It's awesome. John Cheryl, always in there. Maybe I should pitch this and see if uh, Mike DeLay and, uh, wants to sponsor these. <laughs> Sponsored by auto alert, but we don't need to do that because John Cheryl takes care of that. So I'm going to char up the uh, broccoli. Just uh, some olive oil. Just some olive oil. Get that sucker rolling. That's cool, isn't it? What's up, Terry Miller? Happy birthday, Terry Miller, out there in Los Angeles. Galpin Ford. Happy birthday to you, man. You know, we could day over 35, my friend. David Highland from the Great White North joining us. What's going on? So it just asks to kind of toss this around and get it uh, get it soft. But we're gonna try to char it. That's why it came with like a really hot uh, pan. I'm gonna add some olive oil here in just a second uh, to get this uh, kind of rolling. But anyway, while well, that's gonna sit for a second, everybody, I got the messages. Uh, yeah, happy birthday, Tay. I got the messages that uh, people want to see what was on the other side of where I filmed. And that is the other side. This is my place. So, yeah, about 1,500 square feet down in downtown Kansas City. Um, good times. Well, I hope we don't make any sick. What's up, Alyssa? How are you? Hope Mike's making you guys something tasty tonight back there in Topeka. I'm going to try to knock out something tasty here. Hey, and tomorrow, um, going to uh, be doing uh, Green Chef for the first time, which uh, Kendall Bowman turned me on to it. It's a kind of a step up, I guess, in uh, the recipes and ingredients, a little bit more fancy. So we're going to go from like a, we're going to go from like a, an Applebee's to a, uh, to a, a more 801 chop house kind of thing. So. Hey, and if you're in, I don't know if Laurel, Lauren's still watching, but if you guys are in Kansas City and you're, you're bored tonight, go see my girl Lauren. I think she's at the Quaff. Quaff? 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 So, kind of gives broccoli a really nice green kick, doesn't it? Isn't that nice? But we're going to get a nice little uh, char on part of that. I heard this. Let's see if this is true. So the boiling water over here. Uh, looks like it's gonna go. It's gonna go over the sides. So I heard if you take a wooden spoon and you lay it across the boiling pot, it'll knock the uh, the foam down. So we're gonna take a look and see if that works actually. So let's just put it on there, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's not. Uh, it's not doing it. <laughs> no, it's gonna overflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of a little bit of that boiling water. Is it working? Is it coming back down? Or maybe because I killed the the the, pot or the uh, the heat. So, charring up the broccoli while that's going to go. What's up, Grant? Thanks for joining, Chris. Hey, Lori Bergson from Chicago. Where you at tonight? I know you're probably on the road, Lori. Handling the uh, the Auto Alert Ford uh, uh, partnership and getting all our Ford dealers in the uh, central region right now signed up and get them going. I know you're out there somewhere. Steve, what's going on? Thanks for joining this uh, today's Little Ears Pasta. I appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, I really do in, I really enjoy this. Ashley MacArthur, out there in Salina area, Junction City, the west side of northeast Kansas, central Kansas. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you at the races, you and your teams out there I'm, uh, at MacArthur. So, uh, charring up the broccoli, getting a nice kind of a, a burn on some of it. Valerie, what's happening? Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. And thanks for all you guys tuning in. I really... Uh, Really appreciate you guys watching. This is something I truly, absolutely love doing. So we're doing, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil here. And then I'm going to put some, a uh, little bit of salt and pepper in here as well. And then we'll move the, uh, the we'll get this off the heat here in a second. So this charn up nice and, uh, isn't that cool? I love, ever since I learned how to, you know, you just didn't have to buy frozen broccoli and throw it in the microwave or whatever. You take fresh broccoli and, you know, one of the other things I like to do is I like to take full stocks of this uh, broccoli. I haven't done it for a while because I've been doing these HelloFresh meals for a little bit is uh, just throw a whole thing 
in the oven and just bake it, you know, just kind of roast that thing in there for a good 20 minutes, 25 minutes, if you get like 400 or whatever it is. I may be completely talking out of my ass right now, I can't really remember. So, you know, we're getting a nice little try on that. And then I believe we need some Jewish cooking recipes. Hey, Lori, I do have a, uh, I do have a Jewish lady that follows me on Instagram who uh, doesn't eat pork and she, uh, she tries to guess how to make these meals without pork and it's really cool how she does it. So it's good to have her. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off of the, uh, the fire. Let, I'm gonna take a look real quick. Remove from the pan and set it aside. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Bring that heat down just a little bit so I don't burn the heck. Oh, I'm flowing, I'm overflowing, almost overflowing. I'm gonna tell you right now, the old wives trick, we had that tonight and it was delicious. Good, Jessica. They put the uh, wooden spoon over the pot is, is not doing what I thought it would do. So from this, we're gonna go ahead, I think it's, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the, uh, is that too loud? Yeah, so this is, we're gonna go ahead and add some more oil and put this sausage in here. Good stuff, Jessica, huh? Hey, by the way, I'm just telling anybody out there, HelloFresh uh, sent me an email today saying that I was gonna get uh, some more free boxes of uh, HelloFresh if you guys are interested in it. And use the thing that Alan Ward told me to buy, mash this, break this uh, sausage up. It's working pretty good, actually, yeah. I don't know if I'm doing it right. You're supposed to just sit here and jam it, stab it. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I threw in uh, three things of sausage, and now I'm just jamming this thing in here. I'll give you a look at it here in a second, so you guys can see what it looks like inside this uh, pan. But yeah, Alan, I think you're onto something here, especially with, uh, with uh, meats, right? Let's get that thing going a little bit. Here we go, guys. That's what it did to it. It did pretty good. Just, just marked it all and, and separated it and did a great job. Pretty happy with that stuff, right? So let's go ahead and add some of the uh, chili flakes here. This is the... Uh, so don't add them. Oh, just, it is the exact same thing that I just pulled out of the cupboard. So I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, let's, let's go three quarters of it, right? We'll mix that up just a little bit. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's just turning out pretty well. Hey, Chris, thanks for joining, man. I really appreciate you guys watching these. I hope they're entertaining. I hope it gives you guys some ideas for, you know, your dinners. Meanwhile, while this sits, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. I believe my pasta is done. If not, I'm gonna overcook it in a second. I'm gonna bring you guys back over to uh, the main area. There you go. All right. So, it did not, it did not help to put the wooden spoon on there. Maybe it did. Nice little, uh, Colander, Richie, thanks for joining, man. I do appreciate you sharing these videos too, Richie. Very awesome of you. I appreciate it. So, that sausage is cooking up nice. Let's look and see what else we got to do here. Ralph, thanks for joining. Ralph Lewis, who's from my hometown and up in Minnesota. Recognize some of my Topeka pictures uh, online. So, what we're gonna do now is it's getting to the end and we're gonna add the pasta or the pesto, uh, some cooking water and half the Parmesan. So I'm supposed to keep some of the pesto water <laughs> or the water from the, uh, but I think we're gonna be okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and mix that stuff up now. We'll do it right here in front. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, it looks really good. Hey, if anybody talks to Brian Armstrong from uh, VW Southtown or uh, VW Lee Summit here in Kansas City, let him know on my Pandora over there, his ads for uh, the Lee Summit store. 
they're on there, so it's kind of it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna add the uh, the pesto now, and uh, I believe we're almost done, man. Hmm, burn a little bit. So we're gonna add the pesto, and I'm glad I didn't. I was gonna make like a a cream sauce, you know, like just the basic Alfredo with some heavy cream, and then I realized I didn't need the extra calories. Uh, it'd be a little extra work, so. Let's mix this up a bit, and then we're gonna throw in the uh, we're gonna throw in the pasta here in a second. So mixing up that pesto, I also need to throw in about half of this parmesan, or maybe even three quarters of the parmesan. Parmigiano. Hey Raven, I love you guys tune in for this. It's cool, even if you only watch for just a few seconds. Uh, pretty nice, and I, and I absolutely appreciate it. So there's the parmesan, and then that, now let's knock out and put the little ears pasta in there. I guess there might have been a little bit of enough of the, uh, we're going to mix that up. Nice. It's got a good color to it. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks real good. What do you guys think so far? Everybody still tuned in? Looks pretty good, right? We're going to go ahead and uh, plate this up. Make sure I get all that. Pesto, we got a little chunk of pesto that's stuck in there. Yeah, it looks really good. And those of you guys who don't know, the, uh, the Instagram pictures are the pictures I put up on Facebook. I actually use the small plates. People get really confused. Uh, it looks like a giant portion. But no, I use the smaller plates. I haven't used the big plates in a long time. So let's go ahead and uh, dish this up. This is uh, Little Ears Pasta with uh, Italian sausage and um, charred broccoli with a, a nice pesto, a nice pesto sauce. So uh, good stuff. It looks like it's going to be kind of hearty. It was a really simple kind of uh, recipe to make from, uh, from HelloFresh. Tomorrow night I'm doing the uh, Green Chef. So green, fre uh, green Chef is tomorrow night. It's a little bit more enough. Upper scale, uh, upper scale uh, dish. Let's take a look at that. Look at this. Somebody's been watching uh, Chopped, huh? At least in the past. Mike tells me presentation is everything. What's up, Stephanie Rose? Christy's in here too. What's going on, guys? You guys are more than welcome to join me anytime you want to come to Kansas City. One walleye, too small to keep. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but that sounds cool. All right, so, and then we're going to top it off with, uh, with some Parmesan, on, right? So this, you guys watch later on Instagram and Facebook, this is what you will see. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the uh, pepper flakes on here as well. Just, uh, Give it a little bit of color, right? And a little bit more heat. So it looks good. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That is the uh, Little Ears Pasta. Oh, my phone is ringing. Gotta let you go, guys. I'll see you later. It's my boss.